Okay, now it's time to talk about how you can better understand micronutrients. Now, micronutrients are obviously the little nutrients, as we call them, and they obviously include vitamins and minerals. Now, with these types of nutrients, you don't really need to consume a large amount of them compared to, say, macronutrients. Um, but you do need small amounts of, of most of them on a regular basis to keep your body working at its optimum. Okay? Now, most of the superfoods that I will be talking about in the future are actually rich in some of these micronutrients that I'm going to be explaining about. But not all of them, not all, they're, but they're not rich in every single one of them. So that's why you obviously need to have a balanced diet to make sure that you're getting all of your nutrients from a vast variety of foods in order for you to um, have that complete and balanced diet. Now, looking at it further, when you eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, um, fish, what have you, um, you actually do get the vitamins that you do need every single day. But when you make sh but when you make sure that those foods are actually superfoods and not just regular food, but superfoods such as avocados and walnuts and almonds, etc., etc., um, you will get even more nutrition plus all the original benefits that those foods contain. So um, once you add all of those things together, you will actually end up having um, and meals that will help generate like help give your body that you fulfill and make sure that it's as healthy as it should be taking it to the next level however you need to understand um, something about water soluble vitamins in particular now water soluble vitamins simply are vitamins that um, dissolve in water and they are not easily stored by the body as say fat soluble vitamins now the foods you eat must supply the eight B complex and vitamin C, um, B complex vitamins and vitamin C in addition, um, every single day because your body constantly eliminates them all the time. And I believe the only vitamin that your body doesn't eliminate is B12. Um, so looking at water soluble vitamins, they're also much more fragile and then they're usually destroyed during the cooking process. So trying to eat a health a healthful amount of these amount of these foods um, that contain these vitamins inside of like a superfoods rich, a superfoods rich diet and um, you'll actually be able to get plenty of those vitamins. So the B complex vitamins include thiamine which is B1 and riboflavin which is B2 and niacin which is B3 um, panthothenic acid and uh, folate and cobalamin as well which is B, yeah, B12 as well. Yeah that's right. So the B vitamins are actually found in a wide variety of foods, um, but the only food that is um, only found in, the only vitamin that's only found in animal products would be B12. You can't really find that in every other single type of food. Um, B vitamins do help you convert those macronutrients, such as the, the proteins, the fats, and the carbohydrates, into energy. But more importantly than that, they're actually necessary for many of the, um, the body's actually, the body's real kind of normal functions it helps you maintain it and balance it properly okay and finally i'd like to say that vitamin c is found in fruits and vegetables as well um i'm not sure if spinach contains vitamin c but i think it does no it's mainly vitamin a actually um but you you know you usually get your vitamin c from citrus fruits and strawberries um peppers etc like that um orange juice things like that so vitamin C is obviously needed to help keep your immune system as strong um, as it can possibly be, um, maintaining its normal function, um, which also helps you with regards to um, healing your wounds and maintaining a strong connective tissue. Now, finally, I'd also like to mention that being able to find fat-soluble vitamins in your food. Now, Fat-soluble vitamins particularly are stored in fatty tissues and your liver themselves. So you won't become deficient in these vitamins as quickly as with the water-soluble vitamins. Now, vitamin A is one of the most important vitamins as well um, and is needed for you to be able to maintain and to ensure that you have a healthy, um, a healthy vision, right? So that's also including being able to have like uh, healthy cell growth, okay? and is usually found in both plant-sourced foods and animal products. Then we've also got vitamin C as well, vitamin E as well, which is found in nuts and seeds in particular, and they actually work as an antioxidant to protect the cells in your body from free radical damage. 
Vitamin K is found in leafy green vegetables and is essential for normal, normal blood clotting. Um, but remember there's also a vitamin that many of us are actually being quite deficient. We, we don't really consume a lot of and that has to be in vitamin D. Um, and usually that is only made by your body after it's been exposed to sunlight. But we need to get roughly 5 to 20 minutes of direct sun exposure to our face, our arms or our legs twice a week, they say. Um, to form the sufficient amount of vitamin D that we actually need. Now, some foods like milk are actually fortified with extra vitamin D, so you can always get vitamin D through supplements instead. And the American Academy of Dermatology actually recommends that utilizing fortified foods and supplements for vitamin D rather than exposure um, is, is actually better for you to actually consume supplements um, for vitamin D rather than sun exposure because when, you, when you're out in the sun all the time and your body is actually trying to absorb all the sunlight and converting that vitamin D, um, making your body help, well, helping your body to convert it into vitamin D, you actually become um, more exposed to the risk of, say, um, skin cancer.